When purchasing plants, you may notice that oftentimes they are listed for a certain USDA hardiness zone. This hardiness zone rating refers to the coldest temperature that that plant is able to survive. And this helps gardeners to be able to pick plants, especially when we're talking about perennial plants, that are more appropriate for a specific location uh, based on the, the average low temperatures for that climate. So it's also important to understand the limitations of this tool including the fact that it doesn't take into consideration the duration of these low temperatures. It doesn't account for things such as snow cover and soil moisture, which can help act as buffers for temperature swings, as well as humidity and extreme summer temperatures as well, which can also stress plants. The other thing that it doesn't account for also is uh, extreme temperature swings, such as we can experience in the fall or spring in Wyoming. So there may be times that you want to try a plant that may be rated for a zone higher than what your location is rated for. If we can find a microclimate in our landscape where it's protected, maybe on the south facing side of your home, where it can get more sun in a place where it's going to be protected from the wind, it's going to be more successful in that location than if it's in a more exposed site. This has been Caleb Carter with the University of Wyoming Extension. You're watching from the ground up.